اللهم انت ربي لا اله الا انت
Tuan tengah lecture. Boleh, boleh. Tarik sekejap. Sorry lah. Ah. Tu dengar tak suara? Hmm. Okey kita kena postpone lah. Hmm. Macam macam okey dia tu. Macam saya apa? masuk tiba-tiba, macam dah okey dah, saya masuk tiba-tiba okey. Ya. Ah, nak, nak share screen tak dapat. Ada, ada, okay nak okey dah, okey dah. Nak share screen, share screen kat, easy kat bawah tu. Dah, dah, dah share dah. Dah share screen tapi yang keluar, ah, dah keluar belum? Apa yang keluar? Bukan powerpoint. Ah, dah jelas dah ya. Kenapa saya punya powerpoint tak keluar tu? Saya dah pasang dah, saya punya screen ni. Screen keluar tak you all? Alhamdulillah dah okey lah. Syukur yang banyak orang doa ni. Any medical students here? Kalau tak ada medical student, bonda akan stop this lecture ya. Medical student ada tak ada? Kalau tak ada medical student, I will stop this lecture. Medical student from Cyber Jaya ada ke? Ada medical students? Kalau tak ada medical student, boleh stop. Siapa medical student, please say yes. Siapa medical student? Tolong angkat tangan. And where are you from? Yes. Okay, kalau tak ada tadi, boleh dah cancel kelas ni ya. Eh? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Okay, siapa medical student? Semua angkat tangan. And please share with all your other medical student friends. Uh, I'm sure you all have friends dekat Cyber Jaya. So I want to see how generous are the medical students here who love to have their other colleagues to become good in ophthalmology, who would like to share what they have that like I'm doing today for you all. Okay. So please, where you are from. And then, siapa yang dah buat, how many of you have shared with your friends? Those who do not share, I send my condolence because if you don't share means you are in a very low ranking people. Doctors are supposed to be very loving, 
kind, generous, always wanting to share and selfless service. So I want to see how many of you have shared with your colleagues. Putri Noor, have you shared? How many have shared? Good Nick Noor from USM. How do you know about our class? Yes. Siapa dah share? Say yes, done share. All that have a, are attending medical student, please type your name because your attendance will be taken by me. Do not follow this lecture until you give your attendance. Yes, I'm here. I'm ready to learn. I'm focused. I want to learn something. Write that. Good, Aina. Well done, Muhammad Zikrullah. Very good. Excellent. My batch and juniors are studying. Very good, Hazri. Very good. So, all on an abode, you see how I'm very firm and strict when it comes to teaching. Ah, saya garang bila saya mengajar because saya nak orang-orang yang ni yang attend ni ya. Siapa yang medical student put that yes university mana dan share. That's what I want. Because until you all start sharing then the aura will be good. My idea will be good. Your knowledge will be good and the line will be good. InsyaAllah. Okay, banyak yang non-medical student yang share. See how they are good. Yes, no Fahima. Good. No Nabila. Very good. Nafsi Sabajaya. Muhammad Hazri. Arshad. Ready to learn. Good. Aiman Amir. Yes, Prof. Yes. Muhammad Hanan. Muhammad Hanan. Year four. Good. Siti Hajar. Yes. Siti Hajar Khalid. No Diana. Shariza Abdullah, Farah Abdul Rahman, UOC. From Kuantan, Iza Zulaikha, very good. Boshana, good. So meanwhile, I'm going to see whether my screen sharing. I don't know why my screen sharing ni tak dapat lagi ni. When I share the screen yang keluar ni lain, Alif. Entire screen or application window? I choose PowerPoint. Share PowerPoint. Lost permission. I see follow these steps. Apa step pula nak show? Screen capture. Google Chrome. Ensure browser is checked. Show. Sure.
Okay, Alhamdulillah, syukur. Okay, you all. Now the lecture is going to start. Lecture dah nak mula. Okay, so first uh, kita mula sekali lagi Al-Fatihah. Harga syukur Al-Fatihah. Alhamdulillah. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihtina surata al-mustaqim. Surata al-lazina an'amta alayhim. Ghairi al-mawdudi alayhim. Perfect. So we are 27 minutes. Tak apa. Thank you, Azal Azaila. Good. Yes, Sherry. Okay. So we want to look at the first slide. Okay. Ophthalmology made simple. Okay. Siapa rasa ophthalmology satu subjek yang simple angkat tangan? Okay, tujuan saya, mesti ada objektif ya, kita attend hari ini ialah kita boleh share screen ya, Alif. Gambar, gambar saya tak ada, tak apa. Tunjuk, tunjuk full screen slide. Slide show, pasang pada slide show. Go to slide show, view slide show, Alif. Not like this, go to slide show, yes. Okay, first you all, can we go up first slide please? Arrow up. Arrow up, not down. Yes, stay there. Saya kata yes, next baru move. Kau sekarang ni slide ni dikontrol oleh orang lain. Somehow saya tak remila lagi. Okay, Bismillah Rahim. So first saya nak you all rasakan ophthalmology ni satu subjek yang simple. Is ophthalmology made simple? Saya nak selalunya medical student merasakan eh, ophthalmology ni payah. So saya nak you all ada konsep simple. Kenapa kita belajar? First you must know anything nak belajar tahu kenapa kita belajar. Kita belajar ophthalmology atau bidang mata ni untuk memahami mata, belajar ilmu tentang mata, kenal Allah dengan mata, bersyukur dengan mata, gunakan mata untuk kebaikan. Dan kita tahu kenapa pentingnya kita belajar ophthalmology walaupun dia pendek tetapi it's very important because without your eyes you cannot do anything. Okay? Slide show tu tak nampak penuh ya, kenapa? Uh, logo saya berjaya tu tak nampak penuh ya. Screen dekatnya ya. Okay. Very good. Uh, sebab tu dalam hidup buat apa-apa biar sempurna. Very good. Okay perasan tak you all before I start I make sure everything is optimized. Kita nak belajar dengan niat yang betul, dengan emosi yang bersyukur, emosi yang gembira. Okay, terima kasih Alif. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, second slide. Next. Okay, first saya nak you all hargai bahawa ophthalmology satu disiplin yang sangat fascinating. Kenapa? Hanya dalam mata kita boleh tengok salur darah arteriol kan? Kita ada artery, aorta. Artery, kita ada arteriol yang kecil pergi dalam mata. Hanya dalam mata nampak arteriol. Hanya dalam mata kita nampak venual ataupun vein. Dan hanya dalam mata kita nampak saraf, the optic nerve. Okay, only in the eye because hanya mata ada cornea yang transparent kita boleh intai kat dalam mata. Okay, saya nak you rasa happy, excited dengan ophthalmology. Seterusnya. Thank you Alif. Next one. Okay, first apa kata let's be grateful. Cuba semua orang kata Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wala ilaha illallah wallahu akbar. Jom kita bersyukur. Okay so gambar yang saya tunjuk ni pada you all ialah gambar retina kita. Ni kita punya mata depan mata belakang filem kamera kita tu. Okay nampak yang warna orange tu menggambarkan mata yang sihat, salur darah dia normal dan yang putih tengah-tengah tu kita punya saraf optik yang ada 1.2 million fibers yang sambung ke otak kita. So kita melihat dengan mata dan otak. Cahaya masuk pergi dekat mata, masuk dalam belakang. Otak kita beri interpretasi. Ini ini apa, ini apa, ini apa. Okey. Dan untuk mata kita sihat, kita perlukan darah. Maka darah tu kita ada arteri, arteriol yang masuk dalam untuk memberi pada 126 sel uh, peka cahaya kat dalam tu untuk kita uh, uh, beri uh, peni makanan yang banyak so arteri masuk venual keluar. So saya nak tanya medical student, apakah definisi arteri? Siapa boleh jawab? What's the definition of an artery? Siapa boleh jawab? 
I want some interaction. Tengok universiti mana ter MMC ke UIA ke Cyber Jaya ke mana medical student boleh jawab apakah definition of an artery? Anyone can answer me? This is my standard question with the border aja. When I'm teaching medical student, the first question I ask, what's the definition? Okay, Fatin say oxygenated blood. You are right, majority, but ada silap. What is carried in pulmonary artery, Fatin? Pulmonary artery bawa what sort of blood? Fatin and other medical students, what is the component of blood in pulmonary artery? Is it oxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood? Ha, ini soalan memang saya study student, majority salah jawab. But outstanding can answer well. Wow, Hazrik, you are excellent. You are a menang. Hazrik, yes. A vessel that carries blood away from the heart. So kita definekan artery ni not on the component but on the direction of flow. Okay, so artery carries from the heart to the organ. Okay, so pulmonary artery carries from the heart to the organ lung but because the lung is to clean the blood, therefore pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood yang tak cukup oksigen to the lung. Kita nafas, then masuk oksigen, then from the vein. Vein means something that can travel from the organ to the heart to give oksigen. Okay, so pulmonary artery is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. All other artery carries oxygenated blood, full of oxygen. So artery is defined by the direction of flow of blood from the heart to the organ, vein from the organ to the heart. Excellent, Hazrik. Good, excellent. Yes. Faham? Siapa yang rasa best, tulis love banyak-banyak. Ini satu definition yang saya nak tahu student tu dia belajar basic ataupun belajar faham, tahu belajar untuk tahu ke untuk lulus. Okay. Hmm. Sebab tu dalam buku saya How to Become a Good and Successful Medical Student Ada dua jenis student Satu student yang belajar untuk lulus Satu student yang belajar untuk faham Siapa buat, belum buat posting pun boleh tengok Very simple, I make it very simple for you Okay, faham? Alhamdulillah Best Okay, Fatin dah faham sekarang? Good, excellent Okay, let's be grateful. Jom bersyukur, faham, faham ilmu, bersyukur dalam salur darah kita tu dia lari laju. Next slide, kita akan lebih bersyukur. Next slide. Okay, tengok ini. Dalam mata kita, in our eyes, we have these arterioles. Can you see? One arteriole and you see on the map, those are the capillaries that goes to the eye. So let's be kind. Allah is so kind to us. Fabi ayi ala irabbi kuma tu kaziba. Nikmat mana yang kita nak dustakan? You see Allah give us these maps of capillary to give food to 126 million of photoreceptors and other layers of the retina. I'm going to show you. I want all of you to say subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Please student, as from today. Niat, every time you learn something, is not you have to learn. I choose to learn because I want to know Allah. Inilah dalil-dalil akli yang Allah tunjukkan dalam mata penciptaan manusia. So use of tamology when you do whatever posting for you to know Allah more, to appreciate more, to be grateful. Sebab orang yang kaya ni orang yang bersyukur. Okay, if you have Allah, you have everything. So let's be kind. So dalam ni, is a picture of arterial and all the maps. Because it has to give nutrition to 126 million photoreceptors. Okay, good. Next slide. So, ophthalmology, most students are very scared because of fundoscopy to check the retina. Can the technique too? Okay, for technique, there'll be another lecture, but today is just the concept and role of ophthalmology I want you to learn. What's the role of ophthalmology? Mata, we are learning about the physical eye but it should open your spiritual eye, your emotional eye, your intellectual eye and close your nafs, nafsu ego. Ego eye should be closed. When you learn ophthalmology, use your eye to see the greatness of Allah. Use to eye to see the goodness in others. Use to eye to see your own mistake. 
use to eye your eye to for solah for quran for everything even the non muslim use your eye to do kind good things okay please appreciate your eyes allah god will take care of your eyes so most people ask you of this fundoscopy is retina so remember when you do the fundoscopy you, you look at four structures what four structures the optic nerve that carries to the brain the macula i will show you more the eye in the eye and your retina, the whole structure, nampak tadi, the red color tu, and the vessel, arterioles and venules. Four things you must describe when you're doing fundoscopy. Many students do not pass because they forgot about these four people they have to describe. Okay? Whoever is learning, put love and share. Love, love, love. Just type love, love, love. The more you put love, the more the knowledge will come to you. You're showing Alhamdulillah. And as we are doing this, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Subhanallah. Always so grateful. Hari ni pun hari Isnin yang baik hari lahir Nabi. Okay, next slide Alif. Thank you. Ha, Let's be loving. Look at all your arterial. This is a diagram, diagram for you to know that all the nerve fibers are converging. Kita ada 120 million uh, photoreceptor. The nerve from each photoreceptor converge and they become compressed into 1.2 million into the pink structure there. That's your optic nerve that goes to your brain. And the blue is your venous, the A is your artery. Okay, put love, put love, put love, put love. Whenever you learn something, stretch love. So the more love I have, that means more attention there is. Whoever does not put love are being selfish. Okay, please interact. Good, next one. Thank you, Alif. Next slide. Okay, optic disc, is it the optic disc? It can be, you'll be tested in the exam for the, for doctors, huh? most important if you are a doctor or medical student, these are the four things you have to, you'll be tested in the exam, all four things you have to know. They are crucial. Because of Tamil is a short posting, so as a doctor, you must know the bare essential essential thing, rukun yang mesti tahu, to make you a safe doctor. Number one, you must recognize a normal optic disc. Number two, if the optic disc is swollen, when you have a brain tumor or optic neuritis, Number three, when you have abnormal disc new vessel, when you have diabetes. This is a time bomb that can cause people to go blind in diabetes. And number four, glaucoma, which is a silent thief of sight. Whoever does not come for screening once they are 40 years of age, they may go into glaucoma and that glaucoma, they don't know, they, they just become blind slowly. So, niat from now, I want to learn so that I can prevent blindness. All of you to list. Alhamdulillah, saya niat hari ini untuk belajar ophthalmology untuk mencegah orang daripada buta dan kalau mereka ada masalah mata, saya boleh detect dan hantar pada pakar mata. Kalau saya bukan pakar mata pun, saya akan hantar pada pakar mata supaya dapat rawatan segera. Boleh? Okay, next one. Bagus Aina, Husna. Good. Jumaya. Hmm. Okay, next one. Now, ini lagi kita kata Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Wallah Ini koroid, koroid ni menyebabkan mata kita nampak merah Believe me all, the, the way your blood travel in the koroid at 125 km per hour Zoom laju dalam mata ni Because koroid ni, dia satu blood vessel yang banyak Dia akan beri makanan kepada 126 juta sel peka cahaya tu Dia akan beri Retina blood vessel bagi pada nerve fiber layer yang tak banyak sangat tapi korot bagi pada 126 juta sel peka cahaya. Ya, sel peka cahaya ni, bayangkan tiap sel ni kita tak bayar satu sen pun you all. Kalau you bayar berapa banyak duit nak kena bayar. Ha? Kalau you kena top up untuk mata you, every time you buta, habis top up, buta, habis top up, buta. So, subhanallah, every time bangun buta, Alhamdulillahillazi ahyana ba'da amatanu al-nushu. Syukur. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar Okay, so tentukan guna mata untuk kebaikan Every time guna, nampak Sir Amstar Fratul Azim, tak mau guna Okay, saya nak you bersyukur macam tu Seterusnya So I just introduce Ah, say subhanallah Inilah, is a uh, One investigation, kita takut dye Dalam mata, we see how the blood flow Nampak tak dot tengah-tengah tu That is the most important area you all Dekat situ ada 6 juta Cones Untuk kita melihat warna, baca SMS kecil-kecil, baca Quran, baca titik, baca sukun, baca tanwin, semua tajuk ikut semua daripada bahagian itu yang tengah tu. The eye in the eye. To your fovea, your macula. Ini penting untuk kita membaca. Okay? 
ada 6 juta sel peka cahaya nama cones kat situ yang menyebabkan kita appreciate warna. Siapa designer dan sebagainya tu warna-warna the hue semua tu dekat situ satu sen pun tak bayar. Sebab itu kalau kita ni orang yang degil rugi. Siapa tak pelajar pun boleh dengar untuk you menambah kesyukuran. Okay. So saya pun siapa cek mata dengan saya memang saya buat benda ni. Tujuan saya orang jumpa cek mata dengan saya supaya orang tu faham bahawa penting untuk bersyukur dengan nikmat Allah. So siapa yang suka duduk murung, depression, merungut tu, stop. Duduk, renungi diri, tengok mata, tengok tangan, tengok kuliah ni, Ya Allah. Allah, Ya Tuhanku, apa aku nak berungut ni, mata nampak ni. Okay? Hmm. Seterusnya, macula. Okay? Seterusnya, thank you. So saya tanya you all, bagi student, apakah ini macula yang normal? Siapa boleh jawab? Ingat gambar tadi, macula yang normal? Siapa boleh jawab? Is this normal? Not normal. Good Fatin. What is the pathology Fatin? Bagus Fatin mesti top student. Saya jawab je. Bagus. Fatin daripada mana ya? Hmm. Yes, Hazrik. Not normal. What is the pathology? Anyone can take kat mana? Dekat optic nerve ke? Dekat macula ke? Dekat vessel tak normal. Yes, Shasha. Not normal. Yes, future boss club MBC apa ni? Akilah not normal, yes. Siapa tahu apa diagnosis? Very good, Hazrik. Uh, kau memang top student. Ha, Hazrik selalu follow bunda kan? Hmm. Macular degeneration. Ini berlaku pada orang yang aging process. Especially kalau kita tak makan sayur banyak. Bukan heart exudate yang tajam. Bukan. Ini macular degeneration. Heart exudate dia lebih kuning lagi. Ini more of the Drusen they call it. Drusen. Drusen dekat macula disebabkan oleh orang yang masa muda kurang makan sayur, banyak makan junk food, merokok, tak jaga kesihatan. Your eyes the first to your, your, your eyes the, the, the first to go because mata kita ni metabolism tinggi. Kita bangun aja terus metabolism. Kalau duduk kaki tak jalan tapi mata non-stop. So banyak macula. Bukan scarring, bukan edema alif. Bukan uh, scarring, scarring dia akan hitam, dia kecut. You know it's not normal. Kalau normal dah ada good fovea reflex. It is a macular degeneration. Good. Next one. Bukan macular edema. Bukan. Next one. Seterusnya. Uh, ni salah Fatin. Macular degeneration dekat belakang. Pinggul angkula, terjem semua kat depan. Lain. Okay cuba tengok. Are you aware of this? Cuba tengok ni all. Inilah gambar macular kita yang ada cones. Jenis cones tu ada L cone, ada M cones, normal cornea, family. Ini semua dekat dalam cone untuk baca warna tu pun macam-macam. Ada 6 juta you all. 6 million. Ini sebut nak jadi millionaire, millionaire. Kita dah berapa ber trillion cell. We have 50 trillion cells in our body. Be grateful for that 50 trillion cells. Whenever you say something bad, your cells are listening to you. You have bad hormones coming to you. So siapa sini medical student nak merungut, nak membawa, nak mengumpat? Ada tak? Siapa di sini medical student yang dah jadi baik lepas belajar medik ke makin teruk perangai? So any medical student belajar tolong niat, belajar mengkaji ciptaan Allah. Dengan ciptaan Allah ni kita lebih ubudiyah pada Allah. Kita rajin, kita gunakan hidup ni untuk sementara saja sebab kita nak supaya orang kita lihat ciptaan Allah kita subhanallah. Kan ada tidak sia-sia apa kau ciptakan sesuatu dalam surah Imran. Ha? Tidak ada sesia. Semua Allah buat untuk kita menikmati, mengenal Allah, kita bersyukur, kita sangat menghargai apa kita ada. Okey, niat macam tu. Seterusnya. Ha, ini lagi subhanallah. Jom kita menangis dengan kesyukuran. Ya Allah, kenapalah aku selama ni asyik murung, asyik anxiety, aku tak ada apa-apa. Kenapalah duk mengungut nasib saya malang. Sedangkan dalam mata ni, histologi gambar betul ya Allah. Ini gambar you punya nerve. Nerve you ada 1.2 million fibers. Tengok all the nerve daripada tepi to converge to form your optic nerve. So bayang 120 jumpa nerve fiber. They converge to form 1.2 million. That's going to go back from here to the back. You also need to look. Untuk melihat. Kita melihat dengan mata dan otak kita. Ah, okay. Hmm. Faham? Jom nangis. Siapa yang menangis? Tolong menghargai. So kita ada fovea kat situ. Okay. Macam mana Allah buat dekat fovea tu dia tipis sebab Allah nak suruh masuk cahaya tanpa interruption. Subhanallah Allah align kan all the photoreceptor. 
Okey, Jo menangis dengan kesyukuran. Seterusnya. So tengok you all, so saya tunjuk cross section so you all faham. Eh. Tengok dari depan. Okey, can you see from depan? Daripada yang belah sini ya, eh, yang more towards me tu. Yang belah, kalau you tengok screen tu, uh, screen you yang belah kiri tu. Yang macam tu tu, yang dekat, yang dekat dengan saya tu ya. Bulat tu ialah kita punya cornea yang jernih yang kita buat operation untuk rabun, lesik, semua tu kat situ. Lepas tu kita ada yang ruang kosong tu aqueous humor. Kan you want to see? Aqueous humor. That's a cornea, that's a aqueous humor. You want to see? Cucu saya pun nak belajar. So there's a uh, cornea, there's a aqueous humor and they have the lens. Lens tu untuk kita tengok dekat the jernih. The jernih. And then you have your vitreous. Ya. Yeah? Then you have your retina kat belakang. Nampak tak daripada arrow tu ke belakang tu? Just to show one point is all the layers of the retina you all. Nampak tak you all? So siapa tahu how many photoreceptors are there? How many photoreceptors are there? Siapa tahu pun dah sebut banyak kali. I mention many times. Who can answer? How many photoreceptors are there? How many photoreceptors are there? Anyone can answer? Good. Excellent. Siti Nosaliani, where are you from? Actually 120. Yes, Li Jian Guan. Yes, six cones and 120 million rods. Li Jian Guan, where are you from? Fatin, 120 million rod tapi 6 million photo, uh, 6 million cones. Okay? Congratulations. So there are 126 million photoreceptors out there. So if we have to pay one cent, how much you have to pay every moment? This is being nourished by the choroid, by the artery. So everything is automatic. We never do anything. That's why we must say for the Muslims, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. So by knowing you are alone, there's no reason for you to be depressed or upset. You have to be eternally grateful. You must cry. Okay, the answer is 126 million photoreceptors. Good. How many cells do we have in the body? 50 trillion cells. Okay, so our eye is only 1 over 1,000 million. Okay, next one. Next one, photoreceptors, not receptors. So how many layers of cells in the retina? Look at that diagram. As an ophthalmologist, we have to learn how many layers. You must know how they function just to know, just to study, not to create. Allah created everything. We just learned even that people still fail in the exam. There are 10 layers, so many layers of the retina. Okay, 10 layers. Next one. This is the real picture, just as a diagram. Next one. Yes, it's the real picture of the histology. We take the eye, we do histology, study the for the, bagi orang yang bukan doktor, inilah kita buat kajian sel pada sel di retina. Ada 126 juta dan ada 10 layers. Not cornea, retina, Hazrik. Retina. Cornea kat depan, retina kat belakang. Film, the film. 10 layers. Okay. Good, next one. 10 layers of retina. Cornea is in front of, Okay, can we scan the retina? Yes. You see that green layer? This is how we can scan. We can do a CT scan of the retina using an instrument called optical coherence tomography, OCT. That is why in any full assessment of the eye, most uh, centre, some uh, hospital government, but most private centre will have this OCT. We have a very objective, thorough assessment of the eye, of the retina. Okay, so we have scan of the retina we can do secara live it's very detailed so if someone's diabetic they become swollen okay objective assessment next one okay can you see this pathology is it normal or abnormal anyone can answer what's the pathology in this in this patient anyone can tell what's the pathology Let's see, you have this bone spicule appearance in the periphery and this patient when they were young, they macam rabun ayam, when they go to a dark room, difficult for them to start seeing. It's a long time. 
Because most of us from a bright room, our people is small. We go to a dark room, a people becomes big, take some time before the light come in. But sama with retinitis mentosa, they can have this bone spicule appearance. Yes, retinal pigmentation, good hazri. This is a condition called who anybody can know associated with night blindness. Excellent, Sadatil Ijmal Zainal Azim. Yes, Shafika, good. Retinitis pigmentosa. Many people ask me, is there a treatment? No, there's no treatment for this. If Allah give you, just have to live with it, make dua, just hasanka by Allah will maintain your vision. Retinal, you call it retinitis pigmentosa. Good. Okay, when you give your answer, can you please write the university where you are from? I want to see. Next slide. Okay, anyone can see detail at the optic disc? Anyone can see any abnormality at the optic disc? What is the abnormality at the optic disc? Look, and you need to use a green, a green light or red free light. Anybody can tell? Remember the, the uh, uh, five things about the nerve you must know. Optic nerve, is it normal? Is it glaucomatous? Is it swollen? Is there uh, optic atrophy? And is there any new vessel at the optic disc? Is there any new vessel optic disc? Ah, some people say papillary edema, not really. The margin are still, the margin are well defined. Papillary edema, they have uh, blood margin. No, not swollen. CD ratio, yes, slightly 0 0.4. What if I tell you this patient is diabetic and not controlled? This patient is diabetic and take a lot of sugar. They take all the cupcake. They take all the canned drinks. They take all the sweet things. Who can give the answer? Once you give answer, please give me your university. No angiogenesis? No angiogenesis? No? What does it mean? Very good, Anna. Sophia, which university are you from? Neovascularization of this very like time bomb, it can go. Bukan glaucoma, no sidatil. You look at properly, there is a small blood vessel there. Okay, what's the treatment for this? Anyone can tell what's the treatment if you have this optic disc? If the patient see, you see this optic disc, do you ask the patient to come and see you after one month or you want to refer immediately? Good, diabetes, Dr. Pati. Farhana, good. Patin, good. Good, PDR, excellent. Prolific, yes. Neovascular glaucoma, no. Neovascular glaucoma, you don't see in the optic disc, you see in the, in the front, at the iris. Neovascular glaucoma is when you see new vessel at the iris. But when you see new vessel in the optic disc, it is diabetic, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. What is the treatment? Who can tell me? If you want to save this, this patient's vision. What is the treatment? Anyone can tell? What treatment will you do? Very good, Rushana Mahendra Varma. Good, pen retinal photocoagulation for PDR. Okay, you want everything to yes immediately refer PRP Sarah. Excellent. Which do we say from? Not good. Okay, straight away send for PRP. Yeah, control blood glucose. Yes, control at the same time. PRP. Not just control because control sugar will not shrink the NVD. It has to be anti vegf Very good. Now we combine anti vegf and also. Laser, very good. Yes, refer me. It's a time bomb, remember. Excellent, Aina. Excellent. Okay, next slide. Well done. Excellent. Yes, good, Aika. Iklil. Good. Next one. Shara, very good. Okay, so when you see retinal vessel, it's important for you to recognize which is the venule, which is the arterial, and able to see the arterial venous nipping. Who knows? Which is bigger, the venules or the arterial? Who can answer me? Which is bigger, the, reti the arterioles or the venules? Good. What is UOC? Eh? University open. What? Can you tell me what's OC? Sorry, pardon my ignorance. Yes, yeah, Zainal, good. Shafika, good. Hanim, Liza, good. Nonabila, good. Shara Basira, vein. Yes, good. Vein is not venous, veins. Venule is bigger, yes. Why is that venule bigger? 
Anyone know why venu? Venu, the blood direction flows from the eye to the heart or from the heart to the eye? Venules. Which is bigger? Venules or arterioles bigger? Good, Isa. Well done. Venules is wider. Arina Chan, good. Why is it bigger? Oh, University of Cyber Jaya. I see. Sorry. No more see you say a mess, huh? University of Cyber Jaya, is it? No more. University of Cyber Jaya. Wonderful. Okay, University. Very good. UOC. Very good. Zainal Nustain. Good. Venos are bigger. What's the direction? From the eye to the heart. Very good. Yes. Okay. Next slide. So you must know this as a medical student. Now this to help you in your medical other field. Okay. So much for the retina. Okay. So as a medical student, first I want you all to realize how you see first. Because our aim in our is to, to make sure people see and prevent blindness. So once you understand how you see, you understand the film at the back which contains the, remember the light enter, the photoreceptor catch, goes to the optic nerve, optic nerve to the brain. So you see your eye, occipital lobe. So you see with your eye and your brain. Understand? So you must know your pathway, your, your track. That was another lecture, Nanti. Okay, so you understand about this. I think you all learned in your lecture. Now I'm going to tell you a few points. Before you leave ophthalmology or you're going to learn, you must know what pulse, what mutiary you must take. The common symptom people present in everyday life is a red eye. So people say, oh, anak mata saya mega, mega. So I'm going to give you a very important question. Whenever, if you have, anyone have red eye, ask two important questions. This will prevent blindness. Number one, is it painful? Number two, is there blurring of vision? Okay, why venules bigger? Because it is thinner wall. Okay, because it just it doesn't it doesn't need to pump. Whereas arterial bigger, they have higher resistance from the heart. They are pumping, so they have to have a strong wall. But venule, they are not pumping; they are just flowing. Their capacitance vessel they're just flowing, so they don't have to have a thick wall. So they are bigger. Okay, I will talk about that later. But I just want to talk about red eyes. Okay, you know about red eyes. What two important questions you must ask to prevent uh, blindness? Is it painful? Is there blurring of vision? Okay? Good, excellent. So can everyone type what two important questions we must ask if someone has red eye? Is it painful if we call uh, I have red eyes? Ask over the phone. Ask the patient, is there any pain? No. Is there any blurred vision? No, I can see well. I can see well. Close. Or oh, I can see well. Just a bit tight matter. Then not to, to worry, just conjunctivitis. No urgency. But if someone is straight eye with pain and decreased vision, that's emergency. Okay? Acute or chronic visual loss. Very good. Yes. Later I will tell you, yeah? Kalau acute visual loss, uh, it has to do with vessel. I'll, I'll ask you later. I'll show you later. Good. Next one. Okay, so what are the five important causes of red eyes? You must know this because these are blinding condition. Number one, acute glaucoma. In glaucoma, you know how the patient come until now. I remember the late Mrs. Kandaya teach me. If you see in the ward, uh, you are passing emergency or you do emergency, you see someone do this. Vomiting, painful, that means acute glaucoma. The pressure can go up to 60. Normal pressure is 22, but acute glaucoma can go up to 60 the pressure. It's very painful. If you don't treat it, the nerve get choked and the nerve will be dead. They go blind permanently. Okay, it's important that the high pressure glaucoma must be treated early. Number two, number two, bagus fatin, yeah? Number two is acute anterior uveitis. I mean, there's inflammation in the eye, in the anterior chamber. This also has to be treated. Number three, especially if they have wear contact lens, cornea ulcer. You see a white dot there with a red is cornea ulcer. Number four is scleritis, inflammation of the sclera. And number five, some viral keratitis. I'll show some pictures later. Next slide. Remember this. Huh? 
Okay, now my next question. I always talk about vision loss. Now I ask you, if someone is diabetic, you when they come for a check up, you say, Macik boleh nampak tak? Nampak. So tak payah refer. So my question to you, does a normal vision rule out diabetic retinopathy? Who can answer me? Does a normal vision rule out diabetic retinopathy? Who can answer yes or no? Conjunctivitis, they will have red eyes. No, because conjunctiva at the white part of the eye only. The, the cornea is not affected. So the media is not affected. So there's no decrease in vision. Yes, very good. Why? Why can it roll out Hazrik? Why? Good, Saada. Good. Shara, good. Flora, good. So? So, what must you do if you know someone recently diagnosed diabetic? Good, Irfan. Amma Arham, good. Husna, good. Yes. So, why? When you see that patient with the, the, uh, proliferative diabetic retinopathy, when does someone with diabetic retinopathy uh, have decrease in vision? When? Tell me. Good, I know. When does diabetic retinopathy uh, has uh, affected the vision? Which what of diabetic retinopathy will cause decrease in vision? When does a diabetic retinopathy, someone diabetes, cause decrease in vision? It will take time, yes, but will this normalization? Will proliferative diabetic retinopathy all cause decrease in vision? Retinal detachment, yes, quite late. What very early diabetic uh, involvement at which part of the eye that will cause decrease in vision in diabetes? Uh, proliferative, no. Proliferative, if they bleed, you have vitreous hemorrhage, you can decrease vision. But before they have proliferative, they can decrease in vision. No? I'm so glad I give this lecture. I'm, I want to see. NPDR, non-proliferative, but what? Yes, Shakir, you got it. Maculopathy. Remember I told you the eye in the eye is the macula. When there is maculopathy, heart exudate, then you have decrease in vision. Yes, very good, Zulaikha. You are very clear, Zainal. Very good. That's why, remember when I start my lecture, optic nerve to conduct, but the recipient, macula, eye in the eye. Whenever the eye in the eye, whether there's cataract, yes, but more of retina. I'm talking about retina now. Macula, affects the macula. So, we have to do a fundus photography, fundus examination. Okay, so, if you all, do, normal doctor cannot see, but you must send to the eye doctor who can do a fundus copy or you can do a, now we have many government uh, hospitals that can have a, a retinal photography. and make a fundus picture. Yes, yeah, Shafika, dah jelas sekarang? So if you have someone with proliferative diabetic retinopathy dekat NVD optic disc, macula the normal, vision the normal. So dia akan the normal, tiba-tiba the, the new vessel bleed, broom, blind terus. Sudden blindness. So berdosa siapa yang berdosa? Doktor yang tak refer pesakit tu. So any of you all, if you see your family a diabetic, kalau tak di refer pada uh, pakar mata berdosa. Sebab penyebab utama kebutaan di dunia adalah kecil manis. Dan kemungkinan untuk buta kalau tak kawal kerja pandai 25 times. Understand? So, how many times are you prone to, to blindness if you are control, diabetes not control? 25 times. Okay? 25 times. Okay, next slide. Okay, the other one. You must know this. When is ptosis dangerous? Why ptosis? Who can tell what ptosis? Siapa yang tulis faham tu akan faham. Siapa respon akan faham. Siapa dia tak buat apa-apa tu you get nothing. Siapa yang share dia akan dapat banyak ilmu. When is ptosis dangerous? When is ptosis dangerous? Why ptosis? Who can tell me why is ptosis? The pronunciation not ptosis and ptosis. Walaupun ada P kat situ. Good. Well done. Drooping of the eyelid. 
not protrusion. Protrusion is proptosis. Eh? Hazric proptosis is protrusion. Tosis is drooping. Okay. Drooping macam ni kecil sebelah macam kata yang ngantuk tu kan. Uh, protrusion is not protrusion. Tosis is Amira is unable to close the eye lain. Itu proptosis. Proptosis. Ini tosis PTO is drooping of the eyelid. Okay, upper eyelid. Yes. Yes, very good. Okay, when is it dangerous? If children have tosis, yes, good. Drooping of the upper eyelid. When is it dangerous for children? You tell me. What can happen if the child is born with tosis and not referred and not accessed by ophthalmologist? What will happen? Siapa rasa semangat nak belajar ophthalmology lepas dengan ni? Yeah, Honor syndrome betul bagus. Yes, small tosis. People might miss tosis. Honor syndrome. But more important. Yes, good, excellent. It can cause amblyopia because not visual field. More of visual potential because when you close your eye, you cannot get the uh, image to go here. So when it doesn't go to the to the brain, remember, the pathway will be affected so they got amblyopia and it's permanent. Okay, good, Akila. This one for adult huh? aneurysm. Yes, lazy eye, permanent blindness. Not blindness, decreased vision, lazy eye. Amblyopia, yes. You call it stimulus deprivation amblyopia where they don't get enough light entering. Stimulus deprivation, deprived of stimulus. Okay, not intracranial disease. No. Intracranial mainly for adult, adult when they have what sort of thing can cause tosis? What, what nerve is it? Which nerve is affected when you have tosis in adult, sudden onset? Anyone can tell? <laughs> Masya Allah by Juan. Sofia, thank you. They're keeping quiet. You respect, huh? You respect one thing I put here. See, I'm giving lecture. Okay. Ah. Okay, when we want to give lecture, one niat, supaya Allah love me. And then you, please do for all the kakak in Abang there to become good doctors so they can help people. Okay. So which nerve? It's third nerve. Yes, third nerve. Third nerve palsy. Uh, Jian Guan, bukan facial nerve. Facial nerve, you cannot close the eye. Third nerve, you can open the eye. Not uh, sorry. Third nerve, third nerve, you open the eye. Seventh nerve, you close. Okay. So when you have third nerve palsy, the eye cannot open. Okay. Yes, epical lankasinoma, you got Honor syndrome, man. Eh? That one, yes. Third nerve palsy, not seven. That eh? cranial nerve, good. Seventh facial nerve lain, eh? You all, good. Oculomotor nerve, excellent. So you have what sort of? Uh, do you have any squint? Sophia too, yes, yeah, Sophia. Do you have a squint when you have a cranial third nerve palsy or? Is ocular third nerve palsy of sudden onset uh, an emergency? Is it an emergency? Is it an emergency? Is it an emergency? Anyone can know? Screen, yes. What screen? What sort of screen? Yes, Irfan. Why is it an emergency? Why is it emergency, Iman? Why, Iqlil? Why is it emergency? Why is it emergency? Anyone know why? Why? Why emergency, Hazrik? Why? Outward and downward and toes is excellent. We call it divergent squint. Yes. Why? Anyone know why? Yes, good right now. Good aneurysm. Well done. Eclil. Excellent. Okay. Will the pupil be dilated or not if it is an aneurysm? Is it pupil sparing or pupil uh, affecting aneurysm? Yes, surgical cause. Posterior com. Excellent. Amat Soti. Good. Which university are you from? Posture community atrial aneurysm. Yes. 
not so not so much sunset zana dia third nerve dia more of divergent rather than down sikit saja and neurism so what investigation what must you order what must investigation must you order immediately someone come oh tosis you lift up the lid nampak divergent check pupil dilated emergency straight away what must you do ask for what what investigation Good. What investigation? You are A. Well done. Prof. Harizan Najaya. Very good. Excellent. CT scan. Yes. Good. Excellent. Pupil dilated. I want to tell you a story where many years ago I went for a convocation and the, the students that graduated, of course, they thank me, Prof. Thank you. Thank you. And one said props i must thank you why during ophthalmology you said this whenever someone with tosis close open the eyes see with divergent screen straight away i do ct scan straight away diagnose patient to have aneurysm straight away the surgery patient is safe we save the patient's life by just remembering one thing that you taught us you push and push us someone with tosis don't wait you must have aneurysm you can bleed anytime nampak tak you why i'm doing all this i want you to remember this and anyway, why tosis suddenly in, in the dark you open the eyelid, tengok. Kalau divergent squint, think of third nerve palsy. Check the pupil. It is dilated. It's surgical neurism. Straight away, you must ask for CT scan and save the patient. Alhamdulillah. Itulah tujuan kita. Yeah. Good. Next one. Okay, what are floaters? This one is a common symptom. People say, oh, kadang nampak nyamuk. Nampak gini, nampak benda gerak-gerak. Is it dangerous? If they have floaters, if it's only one, it stay there for many, many months. For me, I have like 30 over years, same floater, I'm not worried. But floaters suddenly happen a lot. I think of vitreous hemorrhage in diabetes, vitreous hemorrhage in retinal detachment. These are dangerous. So anyone with floaters, it's good to have a full assessment by the ophthalmologist. Refer to ophthalmologist. Next one. Okay, this is something that I developed many years ago. So they call it Prof. Muhayas too many approach to unilateral visual loss. Siapa pun dah dengar benda ni? Anyone have heard about this? Prof. Muhayas two-minute approach to unilateral visual loss. How to know why? Do you believe that within two minutes you can diagnose someone with vitreal loss? Just like do you believe that we can do a surgery to the eye to remove your myopia within two minutes? Do you believe that? Okay, I have 16 minutes to go. I'm going to just uh, follow this. Okay, there are many steps to this. Yeah? Number one, you must know that we see with two things. Next slide, Alif. We see with two things. Number one, the media for light to enter and the conduction for the light, for the impulse to bring to the brain. Remember, we see with the eye and the brain. If we lose vision in one eye, we can divide this. That, how do we see the media? What's the media? The clear cornea, the clear aqueous humor, then the lens, then the vitreous. So if everything is clear, the light enter, goes to the macula, macula goes to the optic nerve, optic nerve goes to the brain. So you see with your media and your conduction. Next slide. So how do we diagnose? The conduction is your optic nerve and your macula. Remember? You remember? Okay. Next one. So what's the first step in the two-minute approach? So macula, if you have exudative maculopathy or scar, you cannot see. Okay, optic nerve, you can have optic atrophy or compression, whatever. Next one. Step one. If you want to know why the patient cannot see first you want to rule out the media problem you take the fundoscopy check the red reflex why the red reflex is normal if they have clear cornea they have clear aqueous humor they have clear lens and they have clear vitreous once you have a good red reflex red in color you know all these are clear but sometimes you can have a white red reflex, which is not normal if they have retinal detection, but that's quite rare. I want to talk about this first. So first step, if someone says, oh, I cannot see this eye, this one I can see, you straight away red reflex. Step one, good. If it's normal, number two. Step two, next slide. 
Okay, step two, if it is not good, that means four can be abnormal. Cornea, aqueous humor, lens, and vitreous. So what must you do? Take a torch or your fundoscopy, you just do external examination, look at the cornea. Is there any opacity? And then you can look inside the aqueous humor, whether there's a blood or pus or whatever, and look at the lens. Of course, vitreous you cannot see. Okay, if they're all clear, next one. If the red reflex is good and yet patient cannot see, where is the lesion? Conduction. Either optic nerve or macula. Correct or not? Okay. So, red reflex is good. If you cannot see, red ref uh, either conduction, either optic nerve or macula. So, how to differentiate them? If you want, next slide. If you want to know, is it the optic nerve? You test the pupil response. You test if it is a good functioning optic nerve, the direct is good. Constrict, you go constrict. But if you go to the other side, they dilate. We call it RAPD. The right RAPD means that is abnormal with the optic nerve. If there is no RAPD, that means it's the macula. How do you differentiate? Just do fundoscopy. And how to see the macula? Ask the patient to look at you. Look at your look at my light now, and they see you can see a uh, scar, or you can see exudative detachment, or you can see a uh, exudative maculopathy. That's the diagnosis. So imagine. How do I say two minutes? Let's start counting now. Imagine there's a patient in front of me. Okay. Uh, we can start counting now. It's uh, 10.48. How long do I, I take to examine the patient? Okay. Let's say the patient in front of me. I take the uh, thermoscope. The patient is here. I just do red reflect both to that eye. I see good red reflex. Oh, that means there's nothing wrong with the media. Straight away, I take the Direct of thermoscope with the light, I just go to the pupil and check RAPD. Choo, choo, choo. No RAPD. That means optic nerve is normal. It has to be the macula. Straight away, okay. Tengok lampu. Cuba tengok lampu saya. Tengok lampu saya. Yep. Ada scar. Tengok lampu saya, saya tak ada fovea reflex. Tengok lampu saya, saya nampak putih, exudative maculopathy. That means it's a macular problem. Straight away, I know the cause. Maculopathy. Okay, berapa? Satu minit. Or, tengok red reflex. Poor red reflex. Oh, tengok cornea. Clear. Tengok anterior chamber. Clear. Nampak dia punya uh, lens putih. Oh, cataract. Or, red reflex absent. Cornea clear. Anterior chamber clear. Lens clear. Tak ada sama lens dua-dua. And yet cannot see. Must be vitreous hemorrhage. Especially if the history is sudden. Dah dapat diagnosis vitreous hemorrhage. Or, if red reflex is good, 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 good. RAPD, when, uh, let's say it's a loss in the right eye. I shine to the right eye, I see slightly constriction. I go to the left eye, very brisk. I go to the right eye again, the pupil dilate. RAPD, that means conduction defect of the optic nerve. Straight away, say so what fundoscopy, tengok, either optic nerve swelling, mungkin ada optic neuritis, ataupun ada optic atrophy, ataupun glaucoma. Ataupun kalau the nerve normal and yet they cannot see, mungkin retrobalba optic neuritis. Okay, this is a two-minute approach. We can go further. But just we have a concept. Dah faham semua ke? Okay, next one. This will be on YouTube. Man. You can follow my YouTube. Alif uh, akan uh, download two-minute approach ni. Okay, so this two-minute approach to diagnosing unilateral visual loss, Prof. Mohayas technique, you can, uh, Alif akan buatkan dalam YouTube yang kemas. Dan saya akan tukar illustration so you can use it, boleh viralkan to all students. So kalau korang tak, tak, tak nampak je terus, red reflex, torch, RAPD, fundoscopy. Okay, don't put dilating drop until you do uh, RAPD test. Okay, next one. Kenapa saya suruh you all detect uh, that, that, that diabetic retinopathy early sebab kita takut dia akan jadi buta. How many times, how many time kita chance of getting blind if you are diabetic? 25 times. Ingat dia? So all your diabetes are time bomb. You can go blind anytime if you don't refer them. Next one. Now I'm going to ask you, how can uncontrolled hypertension lead to blindness or visual impairment? Who can answer me? Good, Jaya. Remember this. Huh? So all have diabetic must be referred to the ophthalmologist once a year minimum. 
So when you posting mana-mana you nampak orang diabetic ke you nampak orang tu dah kena potong dengan dengan ortopedi and yet they very for to to ophthalmologist berdosa. You go to the dialysis patient already fail kidney failure show very bad because you know microangiopathy kidney uh, neuropathy and also retinopathy kan the three musketeers retinopathy neuropathy and nephropathy tiga ni if uh, buah pinggang dah dah buta tapi tak hantar uh, buah pinggang dah rosak dialysis tak hantar tu berdosa besar. Please refer. If the refresh not normal, do we still need to do the conduction test? Yes, because you may have uh, this important. Let's say the patient has a cataract. You do, you never do RPD. Oh, you thought it's the cataract is the cause. You do the cataract, patient cannot see. Upon your belakang to other glaucoma, cannot. You must assess all because it can be double pathology, media done conduction. Okay, so some people never do this. They do cataract after that patient cannot see because they never check the pupil status. Because you cannot see the optic disc but you can assess the, pup the optic disc by the pupil response. Okay, so important. Very good question. Muhammad Zikrullah. Yes, retinal artery occlusion boleh. Yes, kalau uncut hypertension, you can got CRAO, you can get CRVO. Okay, papilloedema, remember, does not cause decrease in vision, remember? Papilloedema, this swelling, but optic nerve function is still normal. They only have enlarged blind spot. But optic nerve swelling with um, abnormal dysfunction is uh, you get optic neuritis. Okay, so papilloedema will not cause, unless they have hypertension with stroke, they can have uh, homonymous hemianopia. Okay, hypertensive retinopathy. You are the acute and chronic. The one yang chronic, yang AV nipping semua tak cause blindness. Remember ya? So the changes in hypertensive retinopathy only at the arterial and venal, not at the macula, not at the optic nerve, vision will be still be good. So you do fundoscopy for hypertension only to assess the chronicity and the control of the patient's hypertension. Not, it will not affect vision. But they will affect vision if they have severe, they have uh, hypertensive neuropathy, optic neuropathy, very rare. But most of the time they go blind because they have a subsequent pathology like CRVO or CREO. Okay? Good. Next one. Thank you, Ali. Okay, this is another one. Please, uh, we must be aware that it's dangerous to give topical steroid for a long time if they're not followed by the ophthalmologist. So many people... They go to the pharmacy, they buy all this medicine, they make the gata gata, they put, they put, they put. Because 20% of population are steroid responder, meaning the pressure can go up if they use steroid topical steroid more than two weeks. Okay? It's dangerous. So anything that dexamethasone, cortisone, old, 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 those are steroid. So only ophthalmologists can prescribe them. So if you all buat local, pergi GP, siapa doktor mendengar ni, don't simply use steroid because you must measure the pressure of the patient before uh bagi bagi steroid tu because 20% two out of 10 patient pakai steroid akan go blind with banyak pengalaman saya jumpa ramai dah dia pergi beli dekat farmasi so siapa dekat farmasi please don't simply sell you must record who you give steroid cannot be more than two weeks yes homonymous yeah very good her name transit scam attack homonymous feel visual loss angle closure acute glaucoma not so much hypertension is this is more of ocular problem with a small eye yeah Shallow angle. Next one. So how to differentiate between bacteria and viral conjunctivitis? Now banyak orang kena macam-macam kan? Toxic cataract not so much fatin. Toxic cataract ni call it complicated cataract. You get it in someone with a, a high blood sugar. They can get sugar cataract. Or you can get sama with uveitis, complicated cataract. But uh, hypertension does not cause cataract. Uh, belum lagi ya? Eh? Okay, how to differentiate between bacteria and viral conjunctivitis? Selalunya, um, uh, bacterial, they have a lot of discharge. Uh, banyak taik mata, they can glue eye, can open, but viral more watery eye. Okay? And bacteria, they respond fast, viral take longer. So, viral conjunctivitis, we treat by increasing immunity, by being positive, by banyak doa, banyak taubat, take good nutrition. Okay? But both of them, vision not affected because conjunctivitis, bukan keratitis. Okay? Seterusnya. Okay, you all. What is the consequences? Not consequences. What is, what is the consequence? Tak ada S, huh? If a child with a screen is not referred to the eye specialist. Ah. What happened? Very good, Hazrit. Perulan, yes. 
stick at lashes. Yes, very good. What is the consequence if a child with a screen is not referred to the eye specialist? If not referred, what will happen? Yes, lazy eye. Very good, Fatim. Well done. Okay, because if the child is screen like that, they don't see well, so they have decreased vision, therefore they're prone to, especially if they're constant one side saja. Very good, excellent. Bukan permanent blind, they're just not blind, they just become lazy eye. Next one. And blind PR, good. Next one. This are the essential point. So how does laser help prevent blindness in diabetics? Why I take this topic? Because many people thought that because of the laser, they become blind. They do not realize that once a doctor laser means there's only pathology, and the laser is to prevent further loss. Very few lasers that can help except for focal laser for diabetic macropathy. But kalau patient yang proliferative, kita bagi uh, laser banyak tu to decrease the new vessel, tapi patient tak faham. Sometimes tengah laser, tiba-tiba dia bleed, dia thought the laser causes the decrease vision. It's not. It's because the disease macam kain dah koyak banyak, dah rabak banyak, kita nak betulkan pun payah. Okay, so please educate public, laser is good for them. Next one. I more ada dua, ada dua boleh pakai tak? Yang, yang ada dua. Oh, seadah, no, no, don't use steroid. Don't use. Don't use steroid. Don't use obat. Use kalau mata kering, guna eye lubricants. Guna eye mata palsu. Okay, I just show some slides for you. Next one. Laser bukan prevent angiogenesis the treat. Okay, so all of you dah tahu how to uh, red eye and cataract. All of you, make sure you know. Cataract kat dalam, red eye kat luar, ya. Yeah? Next one. Okay, all of you must know style apa dia ketumbik, kelezion, uveitis tadi, mata merah, herpes simplex keratitis, conjunctivitis virus, semua dah tahu ya insyaAllah. Neonatal conjunctivitis splits refer ya. Okay, these are the things that you must know. You can screenshot if you want. Okay, next one. Red eye ya, red eye ni tengok keratitis kalau someone with a contact lens. First question, anyone who has red eye ask what contact lens wear. Okay, these are the other causes of red eye. Blephritis is when you have the bulu mata dia banyak tak bersih. Dry eye mata kering dia rasa macam ada pasir like sandy feeling. The eye is always tearing. Very gem you can see outside and subconscious hemorrhage, corneal abrasion, ocular trauma. Okay, next one. Okay, I hope all of you know about cataract. Jangan takut lupa pasal cataract ni. Sekejap saya sendiri sekarang. Sucheless. Next one. Okay, please know all the coronal nerve palsy, facial nerve palsy, the eyes unable to close. Therefore, they have exposure to the third nerve and sixth nerve. I'll be showing some slide later. Next one. Lagi like Alif, next. Okay, quiz time. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Okay, first quiz. Buka Alif. Ah, siapa boleh jawab? What's your diagnosis? What is your diagnosis? Dah pukul sebelah saya tak apa saya extend sikit pasal saya start lambat. What's your diagnosis? Anyone? What is your diagnosis? Anyone can tell? Please give left or right, okay, your diagnosis. Good. Which side? Bell's palsy? Ahmad Salty. Which side? Left or right? Good. Amira, left or right? Fashion palsy. Don't just give palsy, you must say left or right. Let's see. Excellent. Left six nerve palsy. Siapa dapat tu? Li Juan, Li Jian Guan. Which university are you from? Li Jian Guan. Which university? Good. Hui Leong. Good. Akilah. Good. Left palsy. Excellent. 
Okay, what's best policy? Facial nerve. Upper motor neuron or lower motor neuron? What's best policy? Upper motor neuron or lower motor neuron? Good, Aira. Good, Fatin. Saadah good. Upper or lower motor neuron? CT bukan right. And most people are going to say is the right. Because kita tengok patient macam ni kan, so yeah, our right is patient's left. Okay, is it upper or lower motor neuron? Best policy. Good. Lower motor neuron. Yes. Akila turun revise balik. Eh? Must know. Lower or upper. Apa beza lower and upper? So the side is bilateral ke contralateral? Yes. Spare the forehead, it's upper motor neuron. Kalau affect the forehead, it's why we cannot tell. So how do you differentiate between upper and lower? What test do you do? Which muscle do you test? Bell's palsy is upper or lower? Ha, balik mesti nak revise kan? Check balik Rusna. Anna, Sofia, macam mana? How, how do you test? How do you test? How do you test? Yes, how do you test? Good. Lower epilateral. How do you test? Lower or upper motor neuron? What differentiate? Which muscle? Which muscle is used? Which upper face? Which muscle? Good. Sahira epilateral. Babinski. What is Babinski sign, Hazrik? Frantelli is good. Yes. Okay. Raise the eyebrow. Very good. What else? What else? Yes. Okay. Next slide. Well done. You can check again. Yeah. Next one. Okay. Which side is the facial nerve palsy? Next slide. Good, Adonin. The Alif, previous slide. Okay, which side is the facial nerve palsy? Pandai, Sadatu. Very good. Left, good, Fatin. Well done, okay? So yang naik atas tu yang normal, yang tak naik tu tak normal. Banyak orang tak faham bekam mulut herok tu yang normal. Okay? Well done. Next slide. Okay, so in summary, I want all of you to know the normal retina, recognize vein occlusion, artery, and the body. Semua mesti tahu. Next one. Pasal retina, I mesti tahu. Red eye, retina screen. Nak tahu exode. Exo deviation or exo deviation. Squint. Yeah. Apa dia iso, apa dia exo? Very good. Yes. Now, ketika pasal squint. Eh? So, you all balik. Please revise your facial... Uh, nerve, upper lower neuron, you must know because untuk medical pun penting kalau ada stroke which side, kalau stroke belah kanan, facial nerve belah mana you must know about facial nerve palsy, tolong know the pathway here, yeah? iso inward, yes, iso inward exo, outward, x out next one very good huh. tengok budak ni ada juling tak you all is there strabismus in this child nampak macam dia converge kan Okay, look what happened when we do something. Next slide. Ha, kita bagi hypermetropic glass, dia tak screen dah. Maknanya apa? Okay, dia ada accommodative isotropia. Power dia terlampau. Iso, 
uh, previous slide power dia terlampau apa uh, plus dia masuk ke dalam bila kita bentukkan plus dia jadi betul okay call it fully accommodative isotropia nah, tapi tak apa for you all medical student just know ada there's a screen yang boleh dibentukkan dengan cermin mata bukan dibentukkan tapi lebih pada pasal power mata dia pada screen bila hilangkan power dia dia jadi hilang screen okay next one very good Zulaika. Faham eh? Okay cuba tengok mata ni screen hmm. apa tu? Okay normal eye macam tu bila dia keluar kita panggil exotropia. Okay seterusnya next one I tengok mata ni sebelum tengok atas sekali mata dia ke dalam kan you all? Bila kita tutup mata yang uh, juling tu tak bergerak mata dia tetapi bila kita tutup mata yang normal, mata tu jadi dah balik asal. So maknanya apa? Mata dia tu julir ke dalam ke keluar? Nampak cover test, selalunya bila kita nampak orang tu julir ke dalam, kita jangan tutup mata yang julir, kita tutup mata yang normal dia akan buka. Okay, so bila tunjuk gambar ketiga tu, dia tutup mata yang normal yang tak julir dia asal balik. So the fact that the eye move out, that means the eye was in before. So isotropia. Okay, good. Left is iso, bukan exo. Left iso, isotropia. Left isotropia. Mata yang ke atas kali tu the resting position, mata left tu di ke dalam. Bila kita tutup mata yang julir, mata yang tak julir tu tak bergerak. Tetapi kita tutup mata yang normal, yang belah kanan tu, mata yang merah tu dia move out. Nampak tak? Ya, so dia, it was isotropia. Bukan exo ke dalam, left isotropia. Iza bukan exo, iso ya. Very good. Next one. Okay, ni apa? Siapa boleh jawab? Budak dislek, sweet girl. Apa diagnosis dia? Apa ocular deviation ni? Right. Exotropia. Excellent. Shafika. Very good. Hazrik. Very good. Excellent. Good. Next one. Seterusnya. Ha ni. Siapa boleh jawab? This one. Look. Betul ni. Not Shazwani. Very good. Amira. Now this new slide. Good. Right ke iso? Ida. Kita tengok betul-betul. Mana mata kanan, mata mata kiri. Ni slide sekarang ni. Which is the abnormal eye? Patient tu tengah tengok depan mata mana? Yes. No Diana. Betul. Left isotropia. Betul. Left isotropia. Good. Excellent. Next one. So ingat lah. Bukan EXO. Ida ISO. Okay. Siapa tahu apa dia? Myopia, apa hypermetropia, apa astigmatism, apa presbyopia. Siapa boleh jawab? What is myopia? What is myopia? Okay. Rabun. What is myopia? Kita ada. What is siapa tahu siapa dia myopia? Anyone who is myopic here? Berapa orang yang myopic kat sini? Gabun. Okay, refractive error. Siapa dia? Short sightedness bagus. Siapa yang short sighted angkat tangan? Siapa yang buat silap tolong revise dan lepas lecture ni ya. Please revise. Go through the lecture. Go through the live again. Cara senang nak lupa lah jangan, jangan revise after 24 hours. Siapa tak revise rugi besar. Okay. Myopia short sightedness dia nampak dekat jauh tak nampak. So dia kata rabun jauh tapi English short sightedness. Tapi orang yang hypermetropia jauh dia okay dekat tak okay. Okay. 
dan astigmatism rabun silau dan uh, presbyopia ni bagi umur 40 tahun ke atas. Okey seterusnya. Okey siapa tahu apa diagnosis ni? Who can diagnose this? Saya lupa nak nama air. Aduh je. Siapa tahu apa diagnosis ni? Kelezion, bagus Hazrik. Apa apa uh, treatment dia? Kalau dah besar macam ni, more than one week kita buat incision and curettage. Bagus. Terusnya, next one. Okay ni apa? Dekat cornea tu dia panggil terigium. Atau orang, orang, orang Melayu kita panggil selaput So you all mesti faham selaput luar, selaput dalam Selaput luar tu terigium, selaput dalam tu cataract Okay that's terigium Selalu berlaku tempat lagi yang bukan style Syafika Style tu dia dekat eyelashes Kalau so, gelembung macam tu is your tussle gland Ya, yeah? kelezion Kalau you, you rasa ada biji, kelezion Kalau tak ada biji tu style Okay bukan style, kelezion Amalia Zulaikha, Kelezion, Syarah, Kelezion. Ada, if you ada merah, sentuh bahasa macam ni. Kalau ada biji, it's Kelezion. Tak ada biji, is bukan Kelezion. Faham ya? Yes, Ahmad Adham. Good. Next one. So, tu terigium. Mesti tahu terigium. Okay. Siapa nampak apa abnormal dekat sini tu? Dekat bawah eyelid dia tu. Okay, who can see what abnormality are there? hitam tu, dia kalau patient kata rasa ada barang even eyelid, tu dia ada besi kat situ, ada some, some foreign body kat situ, the red part tu yang merah, hitam tu is the foreign body, okay it's a foreign body so kalau orang ada rasa barang, you always try to invert the eyelid, tengok kat ada situ, kan ha. okay, the patient akan rasa sangat sakit mata dia sebab dia mata kita ni banyak blood vessel sangat sensitif Okay, good. Next one. Next one. Ah, siapa tahu ni? Nampak tak yang kuning tu? This is what I call corneal abrasion. Kalau kita tergaru mata ke tergak cala mata, kita tahu fluorescent strip, dia akan jadi hijau. Dia akan stain bahagian yang ada abrasion tu, dia akan stain. Kuning kat situ. Okay, so the abrasion. Therefore, bukan penis lah Fatin. Bukan penis. Lebih kat apa from body. So kita ada corneal abrasion yang warna stain dengan fluorescent dye. So patient akan rasa foreign body sensation akan berai mata. Abrasion. Okay. Guna dye tu. Kalau dekat ini. Eh, next one. Ha, ni penting. Nampak tak kuning fluorescent very important. Dia akan stainkan cornea yang tak normal. So nampak yang kuning tu it is a corneal macam ada ulcer, ada dendrite kat situ. Okay. Tu yang jadi ulcer tu. Ni bahaya kalau mata merah dan sakit Pandangan terganggu sebab ni, dendritic cornea ulcer. Okay, anything yang you nampak bila ada orang ada apa-apa kat mata, taruh fluorescent, kalau nampak kuning, that may ada luka kat cornea, you must refer immediately. Okay, next one. Yes, cornea ulcer. Ha, ni siapa? Contact lens wear. Siapa pakai contact lens, kau tidur contact lens, nampak tak putih tu? Can you see the red eye there? Saya kata kalau red eye, tanya. Vision drop and pain. Orang ni akan ada pain. The shine, tengok ada putih. Mata mega is corneal ulcer unless proven otherwise. Straight away refer to ophthalmologist. If you are GP, don't simply put drops. Okay. Okay, dia pun early corneal ulcer. Tapi uh, untuk dia kat tepi, bukan dekat pupil, the sensation boleh nampak lagi. Tetapi dia kat tepi. So, so dia ni intensive antibiotic. Very good. Next one. Ah, Ini orang corneal ulcer. Memang can go blind because cornea dia dah jadi scar. Cornea ni satu kalau scar dia permanent. So this patient will go blind pasal dia pakai contact lens dia tak jaga dia punya. Uh, dia tidur contact lens, uh, dia, dia tak jaga kebersihan. So this patient will go blind. Permanent blindness. Next one. Okay ni chemosis. Uh, chemosis that occur pasal allergy tak apa. Next one. Uh, ini scleritis. Perforating scleritis. Uh, very severe scleritis. Uh, this are the thing you must refer. Next one. 
Ini nampak tu siapa tahu ni yang yang putih tu pergi hypopion. So you nampak corneal ulcer yang putih kat cornea tu and then you ada macam water level tu. That's why call hypopion ataupun nanah dalam mata. So this corneal ulcer with hypopion severe kalau orang pakai contact lens ataupun dia ada infection dia tak jaga betul-betul jadi macam ni. You can go blind. Hypopion. Very good Hazrit. Next one. Ini apa dia? High femur. You have blood in the anterior chamber. So kalau tak nampak, media kita, cornea, anterior chamber can be pus, can be blood. So kalau pus, hypopion. Kalau blood, high femur. Okay, shine. Okay, next one. Ni pun high femur. Nampak tu trauma, blunt trauma. Next one. Yes. Bukan conjunctivitis ha, Fatih. Conjunctivitis tak, tak decrease in vision. Conjunctivitis lain, coeritis lain, Fatin tolong jelas. Okay, conjunctivitis is nothing serious. Coeritis, cornea. Okay, apa patologi ni tak payah kecil sangat tak payah tengok. It's okay, a bit difficult. Next one. Ah, no one is sudden loss of vision. Apa dah, siapa boleh diagnose, siapa penyakit patient ni? Dia darah tinggi, degil tak makan ubat, tiba-tiba tak nampak. What happened? What is the cause of this patient? Sudden loss of vision, vascular cause. Kalau sudden within me, it's vascular. Dia hypertension, tak makan ubat. Ada cotton wool spot, ada hemorrhage all over. What's the diagnosis? Anyone? Good. Hypertensive retinopathy boleh. Good, Akila. Well done. CRVO. Very good. Next one. Bagus, Shakir. This one, this patient also cannot see what's the pathology. Bukan high femur. High femur yang atas tadi. Yang ni CRV. Ni retina ya. High femur dekat anterior chamber. CRVO is in the retina. Okay, you're tight lambat. Okay. Second one. What was the diagnosis? Flame shape hemorrhage, yes, that's a sign. Diagnosis. Blood and thunder appearance, what I shot. Okay, what's the diagnosis now? Waalaikumsalam, Najib. CREO, very good, Sarah. It's not CREO, it's a central demo branch. Eh? They, they, mungkin in progress. Paru putih, can you see the whitening? Bukan papiloidema, papiloidema is optic disc swollen. This one is look at the retina, the white is paru too. So they are the occlusion of the artery. Macam tadi bleeding, the hemorrhage banyak is more of your venual because the, the vessel datang ke sini nak tutup. Tapi artery tak boleh masuk daripada mati. The artery move from the heart to the organ. Therefore, mata bawah kena datang dapat jadi bengkak macam mana. Tak apa. Ada nanah sikit. Bawah mata tak apa. It is more of a skin. Skin problem. It's not the eye. Mata nampak okay. You can beri antibiotic. Minta jumpa doktor. Hi Tia. Dr. Tia is watching. <laughs> Ya, yeah, banyak you punya UIA junior kat sini. ha. All very good. Dia can answer very well. Prof. Karizan ajar tu. Okay, branch artery occlusion. So, the artery is uh, occluded. So, nampak dia yang whitening of the retina. So, ingat. In the eye, kalau you nampak white because artery tak boleh masuk, therefore oksigen mati, the, the dead retina becomes white. Tapi kalau vein occlusion, dia tak boleh keluar, dia pecah macam part tu, dia hemorrhage. Okay? Branch of the artery occlusion. Okay, next one. Next slide, Alif. Ah, Tia, I want to go Tia tu. Your, your, your junior tu. Okay, apa symptom patient ni? Ah, besarkan sikit lah. Eh? Okay, nampak tak this patient? Uh, saya pun tak pernah nampak ni. Uh, ah, you see the whitening of the, apa ni? Whitening of the retina kat bawah. Apa symptom dia? Siapa boleh jawab? Katakanlah kita ada branch retinal artery occlusion. Bawah retina tu putih. What symptom will they have? Ha, siapa apa dia complain? What symptom will they complain? Okay, oh saya ada sembilan minit lagi ya. Eh. Oh, tujuh minit lagi. Okay. Dia akan ada visual field defect tak nampak atas. Remember your lower retina serve your upper. Upper part. Okay, so dia tak nampak bawah tu. So when you have a, a occlusion kat bawah, you tak boleh nampak atas. Okay. Pain the loss. Very good Sarah. Tiana. Good. Next one. 
Next one. Ini pun CRO. Dia tiba cherry red spot ni. What you call cherry red spot. CRO dia dua hati dia bukan putih. Tinggal dia punya macular for years saja red. Cherry red spot di sudden loss option. Orang ni selalu orang smoker. Orang yang banyak medical problem. Next one. Okay, ni AV nipping tak payah lagi laju, laju sikit Alif. Laju sikit. Ah, okay, just to show you. Ah, is this normal you all? Is this slide normal? Apa diagnosis? Apa diagnosis ni? Swollen optic disc, okay. Okay, this is optic disc, optic papiloidema. Ataupun atau cepat dema atau optic neuritis tengok dia punya uh, optic nerve function. Kalau optic nerve function normal, papilot edema. Optic nerve abnormal is pap, uh, op, uh, optic neuritis. Next one. Okay, same. Uh, swollen optic disc lagi. Okay, this swelling lagi. Okay, ini patient with retinal detachment, inferior retinal detachment. What field defect do you get? What field defect do you get? What visual field defect do you get? What visual field defect do you get? Yes. What visual field defect do you get, Hazrik? Good. Apa? Excellent. Iman. Next slide. Because dia terbalik ya. Eh? Okay tak apa. Next one. The bit small. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Ini kecil-kecil ni. Ini cotton wool spot. Please recognize. Eh? These are all the cotton wool spot. Severe hypertensive retinopathy. Next one. So nak habiskan terus. So ingat anyone that you see do external examination of normal eye. Tengok six-six berapa. Tulis betul-betul. Tengok isyara. Next one. Okay, test pupil response, visual field tadi ya. Yeah. Okay, next one. Mesti belajar. Dari ophthalmoscope ingat tadi, red reflex, RAPD, fundoscopy. Next one. Ni checklist mah. Apa pupil? Ingat RAPD. Okay, next one. Okay, ini buku yang saya buat dulu lama because saya merasakan saya kesian orang yang banyak tak tahu pasal penyakit. So this book is titled Peliharalah Matamu. Okay. And these are the chapters. Tengok ch chapter dia. So ini untuk layman. Macam-macam cerita. Pasal mata merah dan sebagainya. Glaucoma dan sebagainya. Okay. These are the images yang saya personally ambil. Next one. These are the images. Lagi? Ada tak? Seterusnya? Tak ada dah? Oh saya tak tahu slide tak apa. I have a lot of slides from that picture. Mungkin next lecture we talk more about macam mana you want to communicate your knowledge of ophthalmology to the layman. Sebab kita tak guna doktor terror pandai tapi orang-orang orang awam tak faham apa kita cakap. Okay. So it's important. Saya harap all of you please watch this uh, uh, show again. Kita akan maintain this live up here. Take notes. Revise. Apa yang awak buat silap tadi. Uh, because the chat will be uh, permanent tau. Saya siapa jawab betul semua dekat situ. Apa yang silap you betulkan balik and revise. And the best teacher is repetition. Dan siapa yang tak revise lepas 24 jam, sure lupa. Okay, so doakan Allah beri kelapangan. Saya cuba siapa nak uh, saya buat lagi lepas ni. Okay, siapa nak lagi saya nak and bagi markah per 10 for this lecture. Saya lepas lecture always ask my student, how many marks over 10 do you give me? I like to be uh, to have feedback. Okay, doakan urusan saya uh, diuruskan. I have lots of things to do today. Uh, doakan, saya doakan you all semua dapat ilmu dengan banyak. Then uh, is um, is uh, Monday good day for you? Is Monday good for you? You all suka Monday? Please get more. Please get more uh, people to come. Next one. Okay, uh, we we can form. Um, maybe uh, siapa nak jadi admin untuk telegram bagi ophthalmology Prof. Muhaya? Uh, siapa nak buat tu Hazrik boleh? Hazrik, kita boleh buat satu telegram about ophthalmology. Thank you, Nona Bila. Okay, siapa yang nak buat, kita buat satu telegram group. 
uh, atau boleh buat group ah or maybe exclusive facebook group tak ke ataupun maintain kat sini you all which one you want this uh, platform or uh, exclusive facebook group tapi kesian pula orang lain nak tengok ya shellman's group thank you Okay, please uh, uh, medical student belajar niat kerana Allah untuk kenal Allah, untuk mensyukur ilmu Allah, untuk jadi tekno da'i gunakan ilmu perubatan untuk orang Islamnya jaga solat, jaga pergaulan, jaga aurat, always belajar dengan baik, jangan buat maksiat sebab ilmu tu benda yang suci maksiat uh, dan niat apa-apa yang buat ni dapat redha Allah sebagai umudiah pada Allah Okay, terima kasih banyak-banyak you all jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum Jom kita like, subscribe dan juga tekan bell notification dan share dengan kawan-kawan untuk kita sentiasa reset minda dan manfaatkan ilmu yang ada untuk memperbaiki diri kita. Allahumma inna duha aduha'uka wal baha abaha'uka wal jamal jamaluka wal quwata quwatuka wal qudrata qudratuka wal ismata ismatuka allahumma in kana rizqi fi as-samaa'i fa anzilhu wa in kana fi al-ardi fa akhrijhu وَإِن كَانَ مُعَسَّرًا فَيَسِّرُهُ وَإِن كَانَ حَرَامًا فَطَهِّرُهُ وَإِن كَانَ بَعِيدًا فَقَرِّبُهُ بِحَقِّ دُحَائِكَ وَبَهَائِكَ وَجَمَالِكَ وَقُوَّتِكَ وَقُدْرَتِكَ آتني ما أتيت من عبادك الصالحين يا الله سسون دنيا وتدوحا إتدوحا مو كجانتي كنيا كجانتي كنمو كإنداها نيا كإنداها نمو كقوتنيا كقوتنمو كقوسا نيا كقوسا نمو بلندونانيا بلندونانمو يا الله ذكر سكيما سيدي لاني ترون كلا ذيك دي بومي كلوار كلا ذيك سكان بمودا كلا ذيك حرام سوجي كلا ذيك جاو ذيك كلا بكر وقت دوحا كجنتكان مو كإندهان مو كقواتان مو كقواسان Limpahkan kepada ku segala Yang engkau telah limpahkan kepada hamba-hambamu Yang soleh